Good evening, everyone. In this video, let's ask playing cards. Does this person like you? Do they like you? I have five playing card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to participate in this reading, please think of a person and choose a deck. And take your time, please. Have you picked? So let's start with the deck number one. Okay, this is deck number one. The question is, does this person like you? Well, Seven of Spades came out. This card talks about bad luck and, uh, let's say, bad luck in a relationship as well. So, let's have a look. This is person like you. Yes, they do. So there might be not everything might be perfect in this relationship. There might be some sort of uh, fall fallout with this person right now, like maybe some sort of conflict or anger or disagreement or anything like that. Uh, can be some sort of mysteries, you know, you cannot guess what the person thinks and uh, some kind of shady secrets, well, not shady secrets, but maybe well, somehow the person might think that everything is over everything is over, maybe they think they you don't like them or something, maybe they, you know, uh, been attracted to you even in the past or something, but there are too many spades, you know, it's a little bit too, not so simple, but yes, the person likes you, with this card, the person likes you, Now again, they, they do not show. They do not show these things. They do not show their feelings. It's like I, either they're in a bad situation right now, like uh, really, like there is a silence from this person. This person is not speaking at all. Um, but whatever that is, this person likes you. Yeah. yeah, I'm even thinking about uh, like a very difficult love affair, one-sided, very difficult, very debilitating love affair here from this person's side. He keeps facing this ace of spades, which is like uh, depression which is like uh, unhappy love etc etc all sorts of shocks all sort of all sorts of you know uh, subconscious fears etc you know so and this card also talks about absence like absence of this person absence of like yeah okay let's move on to the deck number 2 now This is deck number two. 
let's ask does this person like you does this person like you This person also likes you, they might even love you. Well, it can talk about, uh, you know, the this card talks about um, actual love. It can talk about love, it can talk that the person is kind of almost in love with you. Now... There might be like a financial situation here with this person. It can be that they uh, connected through work with you, they pay money to you, maybe you pay money to them, something like that, yeah? They see you as um, maybe boss or some sort of colleague or some sort of client, you know, who pays money to them. And there is uh, some sort of expectations, you know, between your life, financial especially, uh, going on. Now, this can talk about the fact that you are not together right now, distance is separating you, uh, you live in different places, but nevertheless this person likes you and even per perhaps loves you, you know. Now this card talks, I don't know how much sense it makes, but it can sometimes talk that they see you as a very rich woman, they see you as very successful, they see you as somebody maybe who can offer them a lot of good things financially, and well, um, a comfortable life maybe, a happy life, uh, things like that, so maybe something like that here okay but nevertheless they like you for sure okay let's move on and look at the deck number three this is deck number three let's ask cards whether he likes you Does he like you? Well, I chose this person doesn't like you. Something like uh, there hasn't been any communication between you two. There has been no any uh, communication, or you haven't heard about this person for a while. Like there hasn't been anything going on, or maybe there has been something. So yeah. And well, here are these cards. Um, can see that um, this person is kind of wants some peace, wants to be left alone or something, that they don't have any expectations, you know, something along those lines. But, uh, you know, maybe they had some sort of... Uh, love affair that they want to have a rest from maybe the maybe it can say that if you're really interested in that person you can maybe contact him or do something about it maybe they don't know about you maybe they do not uh, remember you or maybe 
you know they don't know that you're interested in them so basically these cards can say that if you are interested in this person you might change the situation by doing something which is maybe calling them talking to them sending them a text or uh, I don't know uh, something like that Well, if, uh, let's say, you're related through work and, you know, like, your relationship is totally financial, it can just say that you can still contact this person and do something about it with these cards. It's not an undoable situation. Here you have to work. Here you have to do something. Okay, so let's have a look now at the deck number four. This is deck number four. The question is, does this person like you? Does this person like you? Okay. It shows that this person might be connected through your... Okay, it might be the person you're in love with. Does he like you? It says no. Okay. Okay, so the person that you might be in love with, let's see, King of Spades. And uh, it can be the person that even maybe you live in. It's uh, very much like a family card, very um, big love card. <clears throat> you know, long-lasting relationship, like serious, you know, something. And... Uh, well, do the according to this is basically they do not like you, King of Sp uh, Queen of Spades. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the uh, not even know. Uh, maybe they even don't know you that well. Maybe they see you as a woman with a car. A woman that just passed by, you know, a woman that uh, is, you know, works in the in the same office or something like that. So basically, they might not like you because they might not know you. Or maybe they have, you know, another lady, and because of that, the the cards say they don't like you. That's why she is here. Who knows? Maybe they are married. Maybe they have some wife. Because spades and spades. But. Uh, you know what seems very um, hopeless, you know, the seven of spades, what seems very hopeless might be actually not that hopeless. Because this card is a very good card. So it can say that you might uh, actually grow this relationship or something, that there is a hope. Maybe through business, through money, through something like that. You might actually meet this person or let this person know about you. It might say that you just need to make some right decisions regarding this person. You can talk about the travel. 
going to this person uh, by plane by plane and you might change things it can be that you might actually uh, you know be with this person or it can be that this person might meet you during some sort of uh, meetings your business meetings or some sort of financial meetings with in a group in a group of other people so it's not all lost uh, I feel like maybe maybe uh, you haven't told them about their feelings or maybe they they have somebody else or maybe you know you work together and they see you as somebody just sitting there in the room or something like that like not a lot of communication or not a lot of knowledge about you so what seems impossible you know with this card it's like bad luck it seems that it's impossible to approach this person be with this person but it shows that you can work things out so so yeah okay that's uh, deck number four and now let's move on to deck number five this is deck number five the question is, does he like you? Does he like you? Does this person like you? Okay, this person basically likes you. Here can talk about uh, again the fact uh, here can talk again that more or less um, your relationship is related with some sort of work or finances finances or something that's why we have a predominance of basically diamonds and clubs no hard cards so they don't it, it doesn't show love it doesn't show like uh, affection love etc etc but it can be that there's some sort of like a mystery game between you two like some sort of like a not being together but also not talking about your feelings some sort of like secret you know you don't know what they think and you're shy to tell them about your feelings uh, can talk about uh, you know some sort of lack of communication between you two like you don't talk uh, also shows that maybe you have some sort of financial connection let's say work in the same office or just to exchange to find um, some sort of business with each other and all you let's see all your interaction or all, all whatever is con connecting you is all paperwork money some sort of receipts bills etc and uh, you know these cards can talk about uh, some sort of magnetic attraction between you two that you and that person have um, something like that attracts each other and this card talks about uh, you know that some that there's there are many things to learn about each other that there is uh, scope to improve and grow so maybe it's talking about that you know to get to know uh, that you need to get to know this person better that you need to learn about this person but it talks about uh, they like you but 
as a like maybe colleague or something and it also talks about <clears throat> you too being able to grow your relationship uh, to better your relationship and to make it better whatever than it is right now yeah okay so that's it this was reading number five i hope it uh, you liked it i hope it rang some bells uh so thank you for watching my video and i hope to see you next time bye